Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dicing with Death. Um, how you doing, Ryan? I'm doing well. I was just needing the stream. The it's fine. Uh, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the intro was my attempt at making an intro by myself, which was terrible, clearly, but, you know, <laughs> that at least avoids the whole recap section, so how's well, it going? You, you proved once and for all that you need help. <laughs> yes, yes. This is why. This is why I need help. Um, yeah. yeah, so... A little, little, not, a little confused, not sure where to start. We've Usually we would spend the first 15 minutes babbling about what happened last week, but now... Someone did that for us. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do intros. Maybe it's a so terrible just, idea. No, I think I think I'm up to speed. So shall we just jump right in where we left off? Yeah, we are, we are in Cinturon, I believe. Solstice. Solstice. That's what I mean. Maybe I mean back solstice. to Solstice. Yes. Um, and I don't know what your takeaway was from our discussion at the end of last week, but it sounded to me like the campaign was going to switch gears for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, there may be a little less zombie bashing and a little more, you know, arguing over the price of lumber. Lumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> lumber Simulator 2014. Yep, pretty much. But you know, this is a very detailed game. It's it's, you know, we can there are, there will probably be rules for for these sorts of negotiations. Yeah. So we'll explore a slightly different aspect of. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking to build a house or a, a base or something here in Solstice. Yeah, so I, I figure we'll probably... Yeah, if that's what I was imagining you would want to do. So I figure we'll probably just hang out with this map and maybe fill it in. And, you know, explore the city a little bit. Yeah. And go from I'm there. Sure. I mean, th th it may require you to... like I don't know what... You, your construction requirements are, but well, I'm looking. It, you may need to travel a bit and you know track down stone masons who live in the mountains or that that sort of right, sort of right. So, but for the most part, we'll probably just you know fast forward days, weeks at a time while yeah. shit gets done. So, the most important thing in deciding a base is location, and. I think I want a location that has water access, preferably like hidden sneaky water access. And to that end, I've been looking at this map and it's either up here at the top near the library quarter. Mm -hmm. You see how that the the coast like curves inland for a little bit. If I could get a building kind of right where it curves or near there, I think I might have a, like, a boat might be able to pull up there and be less noticed than, you know, somewhere yeah. else yeah this or entire oh, on the sorry, bottom on. side there's a similar thing too mm -hmm. the old quarter so i think my first so so f at this point in time what where are you where's qual situated in the city i think we are so you, probably got actually standing on the docks okay yeah i should get i should find you a michelle token as well yeah um and you can just sort of let me know where you travel around the city. I may um, give you random encounters mm -hmm. or that sort of thing as you explore. But for the most part, you can just be like, I go over here. Tell me more about what's over here. Right. Or you say, I want to find a, you know, a stonemason. Where can I find a stonemason? And we'll draw a little stonemason's hut on the map. And so if you're watching this and you're like, I, I need more zombie slang, this is probably not the episode for you. But we're, yes, we'll, we'll, is... we'll see. Maybe we can throw in some some combat towards the end yes we'll see we'll see um, everyone everyone knows that the elephant tusks are the are the best building material out there so you're gonna have to go track down and kill an elephant <laughs> over and over. we're just gonna grind elephants in fact we're just gonna load up a wow uh wow and just kind of run through build level up some characters and grind that and then they'll we'll consider whatever that character does in wow to be what qualnir does in reality well in no reality. this is the opposite of that <laughs> all right so actually, can I give you control? I'm going to see if I can give you control of Michelle's as well. But why don't you just tell me where you go? Ask uh, me. We're going to go yeah. north first to check out that little. It's not even a cove. That little. Yeah. Change. So the entire the the shoreline, the entire stretch of Solstice, you actually have not left the city, um, is a sheer cliff face. 
so sheer that you suspect that it it was forged by magical means. Okay. So it's like a cliff, nearly vertical. I mean, it's rough, but right. it's it's you know vertical within a couple of couple of inches, mm-hmm. couple inch roughness. Uh, that just goes straight into the water. And there's like a water level, but it, as far as you can tell, it's just sheer as deep as however deep the water goes. Okay. And that might even be, I mean, as big as the uh, ships are that are pulling up mm-hmm. to these stone docks, it's probably hundreds of feet deep, maybe. Okay, so how far is it from and the then, stone dock to the water? I think everything here is to scale. No, but I mean, like, how far do the docks stand out of the water? um, It changes. You've seen at different heights. Yeah, I mean, the tides come in, the tides come out. No one, you know, you can't explain Um, that. But but what is the difference? Generally, it's, I mean, it's never, you've never seen the docks submerged. But it's, you know, it's generally several feet. Sometimes it'll dip to as much as 10, 15 feet. Okay, so we're looking at, you know, a few feet to 15 feet. We're not looking yeah, at like uh, from, you, 20 yeah, or 30 from, feet deep. Not that you've seen, but you've only been here a few times. Okay. And uh, and this mark, that, that solid yellow line surrounding the ocean quarter, um, is an elevation change. It's about 20 feet. Okay. And those are three sets of stairs. So if I was up there, here, and I would be... Down lower. 20 You're, plus like maybe 10 feet, so I'd be like 30 feet off the water-ish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and well, thirty, and it actually it it seems pretty flat. Okay, now if that makes sense. So the so the town is basically all one one elevation, and then the ocean quarter is lowered down to sea level. So up here, those cliffs are more like 30, 40 feet above the water level. Right. Okay, uh, and just for reference here because my visualization of distances is sometimes pretty bad. Yeah, so well, well, how tall I, are the I, I tried to do this to scale, home? and we've got, it's maybe th- three quarters of a mile by a little more than that. So it's, it's almost a square mile that you're looking at, and distances should be to scale. So you can use your little measurement tool. It, uh, it obviously doesn't have, like, depth, but... And not all of the buildings in this town are denoted and I don't even know if I could fit every building okay. at the scale it's at. For, for reference, the cliffs and IV are 30 feet tall tw- ish? Yeah. Okay, so we're yeah, looking at roughly a, an IV cliff height. Yeah. Yep. Except okay. it's water. There's no beach. Right. Just um, flat water. And that probably doesn't help anyone other than you. It does, yeah, <laughs> but I need to know for my... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, other people that aren't Neil. This is the, this is the. Oh God! Whoops. There we go. That's the distance that we're talking from. Is that a picture or something? Yeah, it's a picture from yeah. like roughly here to here ish. That's how tall it is, roughly. Tides go in, tides go out. You can't explain that. <laughs> you can't explain that. <laughs> um. Thank you, Mr. Meat Sauce. Yeah. So. These upper, this upper cliff is, or actually, the, yeah, yeah is the, this upper section of town is about 10 meters above the ocean quarter. Okay. Or one Isla Vista cliff, if, if, one, yeah. if you're Neil. And that's right about water level, but can dip by as much as 15 feet. Okay. All right, so you, you want to move your little guy up to that area that you're exploring? Yes, did I get... No, I didn't get Michelle. Yeah, I, I was going to do that, and then you distracted me ah, with questions. So um, yeah, I want to poke around up here. Giant Qualnir. Giant... 100 feet across Qualnir. Uh, takes a look over here. Does it look like there's room that I could build a new building? You know, if I can get the zoning laws and everything done. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing is that close to this to this cliff um roll a actually this is not even perception check let me find my dice okay i'm gonna give it to you because you are um 
uh, because you are actively you know searching that area. There is a it looks like a sewer grate coming out up in there. Uh, okay, up in that area, there's a sewer grate. Yeah, it's coming. I think it comes out of. I think it's actually on the lower level. I'm trying. Um, it actually came into play in Solomon's campaign, if you recall. I don't remember where I described it before, but we'll say it's coming out of. I think it's got to be going into the ocean. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember how he weasels his way out of it. Sewer grate? Yeah. Solomon? Yeah. It's how you broke out of jail. I was in jail? Yeah, you got arrested by the Knights of Solstice. N- yeah. Not I was arrested? Yeah. I have no yeah. recollection of this. Or somehow you got into their jail. Are you and sure? And freed prisoners. Oh, yeah. Oh, I freed the prisoners. Yeah, yeah. I thought, didn't think I that think was I think you were there yourself. I think, yeah, that was Solstice. You killed a couple of Knights of Solstice on the way out. I remember that. Yeah, and I freed a whole bunch of prisoners and hopped on a ship. I just didn't think that was in Solstice. But okay, yeah, it makes sense now. So if, if I guess we'll, we'll retcon and say that that sewer grate is right there and you see it. I can't remember if it was there or maybe it came out of the wall between, into the ocean quarter. But that's where it'll be for now. Okay, okay. I will keep a note of that. It might be useful to have sewer access. Yeah. Okay, so that was your weird elven ability to spot hidden or secret passageways. Okay. Um, and uh, you were asking, so there's not a whole lot right up against the cliff. I mean, there's like this big building, whatever that happens to be, has probably at least like a 30 foot stretch, 20 to 30 foot stretch between it and the cliff line. Okay. And nothing really gets much closer than that. You're not sure if there's a reason why. Um, but there are some, there's some vacant, like, what is- stretches. And between the buildings, it's just, like, dirt, fine sand. Okay. So it is something, in theory, if I want to build a basement, I could build a basement. It's not like you, a stone surface that we're working with. Yeah. Uh, it looks like sand everywhere. Uh, the only stone, stone you've seen is the... Uh, this wa- the walkway, mm-hmm. like the four paths or whatever, the big stone roads, and the floor of the ocean quarter is man-made stone. Okay. Like the entire ground level of the ocean quarter. How? But up here it looks like dirt, hard packed, hard packed sand. How far does the this little inlet stretch? This looks like about a hundred feet ish. Like. What little inlet? Oh. It comes in about a hundred feet over the course of two hundred yeah. feet. How are you measuring? Uh, hold Alt, smaller. and then you can just Ooh. click on any one spot. Yeah, as opposed to being locked to the grid. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's about a hundred feet in. By two hundred feet ish. Yes. Feet. Yeah. So that's like a thirty degree. It's yeah. Well, we see. It's the gradual, right but there. it's it's a little it's a little is a little bit of a cove. And like I s- said, for now there's a well, I mean, yeah there's a sewer grating coming out right around that cove, okay. right it right in there somewhere. Cool. We would then Palmers like to go to the edge. Go check the same thing on the uh, old quarter side. Yeah. And kind of um, so that the cliff. So there may be a little nook there for a lot, but that stone building is uncomfortably close. Okay. If you're thinking about trying to build in that little cranny there. I mean, at least if you're trying to get away from people, that makes sense. Yeah, well... Just, um, anyways, I mean, so you head down London. to the old quarter. Do you take the main road through town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's there's people out and about hustling and bustling. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be moving Qualnir, but... That's fine. Shell. Anyways, so you... So, what did I, so you sort of walk down through this way, if that mm-hmm. makes sense past the library and down that main road. Right. Um, like a, like we've established before, it's like a, a, a town of around 10,000. Um, but there are merchants and whatnot from elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Like the pot, like there's more people than 10,000 living in the city. Right. Um, and there is, so, so for the most part, it's pretty uniform. It looks like it was designed and built rather than evolved organically. Okay. 
an interesting city in that regard, uh, ex- with the exception of these new wooden buildings that are all you know the all over ones. as indicated. And that's the main distinction between the old quarter and the new quarter. And old, that refers to the age, you would assume. So in this old quarter, these are almost entirely these sandstone buildings. All right. Well, then we definitely don't want to be in the old quarter. It would be very conspicuous to put up a new building in the old quarter. And then if anything happened in the old quarter, I think it would be pretty pretty conspicuous. It so, seems like these are mostly uh, wealthy ha- homes in the old quarter with a mix of shops and whatnot to service that. Okay. Um, well, yeah. While all of, the, all of the buildings are ancient and stone, I mean, just because you can't build a new a new structure doesn't mean you couldn't acquire something else. You know, oh. some, something that's already built. There are, I mean, there is, a, yeah. There's a lot of buildings packed in close together, and it seems like pretty well, pretty decent space for the population. I want to look up population densities of cities to get a. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's like a ten thousand is a crap ton of people to cram in here. In three thousand like, by like a... by what? What is this? Three thousand by twenty-two plus eighteen is thirty forty. So three thousand by four thousand, roughly, is what this is. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to go find. I guess you don't have. So that's this. That's actually pretty, pretty crowded. So there's a lot of people. Okay. Um, The the streets are pretty full, and like the, the buildings are you know apartment style, like you, you know European ancient city style, just like. Crammed apartments together. on top yeah. of apartments crammed together with little alleyways in between. New buildings are uh, built on top of old buildings. Yeah, that's what it's like in the in the new quarter. In the old quarter, it's all ancient buildings, but they're still well, they're a little more spread out, which is why wealthier people will tend to populate there. But they're still packed pretty closely, efficiently using the space. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I will. Hmm. I was gonna say I'll buy. I'm thinking about buying an old quarter house near the ocean. My concern is I would still want to dig a basement that would have like an oceanside access port that we would try and cover up and sneak out. But then it would be look very conspicuous pulling all this dirt out of the old quarter. How would you get it out? With I mean, clearly you could just say I'm di- I'm digging a basement and no one would care. But if yeah. there's this too Up much to dirt, dirt, they would question it. <laughs> but if I have a bag of holding, I could put a <laughs> lot of dirt in a bag of holding and then just like dump it out in the ocean. Just whoop. So, see if you can move Michelle now. Did I get? Um, nope. Wait, no, I had the wrong thing. Yay! I can move Michelle. Awesome. All right. So I want to... I don't know how people buy houses back in the olden days. How do you buy a building for I mean, sale? It's not, it's not like there's realtors or anything. Right. You sort of just have to know someone who's selling a house or hear of someone selling a house or have a network of thieves that you can ask this sort of information of or NPC contacts in the, in the town. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start at the least imposing contacts we will head to the traveler's oasis the two of us Mm -hmm. go back to our rooms over there and ask the innkeeper if he knows anyone in the old quarter or library quarter close to the coast that is selling a building and i'm Uh, not specifying a house i'm specifying a building yeah he will he will tell you that uh that, that that is a rather pricey uh, part of town um that's fine he I tells you he i mean he knows a guy who just, yeah, it's a a property a land a property owner who he could put you in touch with but i he's would not. love to meet your property owner well yeah. not your property owner but the property <laughs> owner you're talking about no. i'm sure you own your own property he said a, a a foreign noble who the guy who sold him hit this in 
Um, his name is Mace. Mace. Mace Drognon. And he has a uh, ha- house in the old quarter. And he gives you directions. I thank him and proceed with Michelle to the old quarter looking for Mace Drognon. Yeah. Um, so let's say, let's just say it's that building. I'm um, sorry, I didn't see the ping. That one there, we can have you move up ah, there. So it's just, it's on the main road in the old quarter. That is the one for, no, that's Mace no, 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 this is his, yeah. So as you approach it, you see that he's got sort of like a small office on a on the first floor. Mm-hmm. And then it looks like it's an apartment building above it or something like that. So you imagine he lives in one of the floors above or all the floors above who knows cool but on the front i mean there's a, the door was wide open and you peek your head in and you see it's kind of i mean it's like a small public office i guess yeah where you could take meetings but all right well not i uh, necessar- not necessarily a business front but i making himself available open the door yeah the door in. like i said the doors are open um behind a desk is a rather large man uh with a coarse black hair and a thick mustache um he's dressed in you know a fine red tunic and you know poured over some ledger writing in it with a with a large quill mace strognon i presume I say <clears> loudly. <throat> that'd be me who's asking my he name is Qualmir, and i am he's... here to buy property and land he towers over you, and, you mm, and what would your business be with this with this land? My own, Mr. Elf. How how are you present dressed on this day? I guess I would still be in my common clothes, which is probably okay. a terrible choice, but too late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. So what 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 was your my answer was made up reason for yeah your answer for wanting land? He said, wanting... "What is your business?" I said, "My own." He sort of looks you up and down, looks at Michelle, who probably looks a little better than you do. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> well, you're both pretty handsome. If only you would have put on your business business pants. Business pants, damn it. Um, uh, he, he says if... Um, I don't know if it's worth my, my time. I mostly deal in higher value properties. I'm looking for something in the old quarter, something nice. Close to the ocean. I have money, despite my manner of dress. Hmm. One of those entrepreneurs. Sure. Whatever you want to call it. Um. He says, "Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, properties. I'm I'm looking to looking to flip. Anything near the ocean?" Ocean front. Mm, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a top floor. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I need a ground floor. Actually, I need a whole building to myself, not just a, a, an apartment. Thank you very much. House, warehouse, library, butcher shop, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll convert it for my own needs, but I need my own building. I got a library to sell you. <laughs> You're not talking about the library, because if it's for sale, I can buy it. But I'm just... he he gives you a wink and makes a move to walk for the door. Okay, I I just follow behind him. All right. Yeah. Um, he says he has a a building a few few blocks away that he will show you to, and walks with you out the door down the street. Um. So he leads you somewhere down and around back there. Okay. Um, and shows you a small stone building. Uh, sort of tucked in the tucked in the old quarter. Single story, two story? Um single story. Looks like a was a, was at one point a house, but it's pretty gutted. Can you give me down to the stone? very basic uh, dimensions? Yeah, it's I mean small, maybe seven hundred square feet. 
so, so that's what so it's I got. Can... A, it's got a couple of a couple of rooms. So seven hundred square feet is it's like prob- thirty by thirty. No, it's a uh, twenty six no. by twenty six ish. Twenty eight by twenty eight. <laughs> twenty seven by twenty seven. So like twenty six and a half by twenty six and a half. That is not a very big building at all. That is a tiny building. Yeah, it's like a it's like a small single residence or whatever. Okay. Like a, and that's probably like the size of I don't know what your the size of your old apartment. Oh, my place with Scott. Yeah, I haven't. I don't actually. I have seen your new one, but not yeah. recently. Okay. I need. I need tokens. This guy. This can be Drognon. Nice. Who went and made these goofy ass naked dudes with the little horned helmets? <laughs> Someone spent so many hours making that three D model, <laughs> and then put them up for free on Roll Twenty dot net and. That's basically all I can find to work with. Yeah, someone really liked that. <laughs> They've got like right. 50 different sprites of him. Yeah, I've used him for like half of the NPCs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's it's not that building that's actually spotted on. No, it's not even on the map. Okay. But we're still talking like I can 600 add feet left, from the but... ocean, right? Yeah. I... I kind of tilt my head towards him and say, do you got anything a little bit bigger? Um, no, you know what? Mostly closer to the ocean. Location, location, location. Am I right? And none of these subprime mortgage loans, okay? I, I'm paying cash up front. Yeah, I mean, he, he he tells you he owns this building, but he has leases with, I, I mean, he's leasing out the lower floors. This was the penthouse he was describing to you. To who are you leasing the lower floors? Uh, none of your business. Well, I can might be willing to buy out their lease. That's why I'm asking. <clears throat> how much? How much money are we talking here? You want just like a? I feel like you're wasting my time. <sighs> Let's just say the amount of gold I have at my disposal exceeds 50,000 gold for this purchase. Now, that said, I'm not a fool and I'm not going to pay overpriced. I'm not going to overpay for property. I've been around. My pockets run down. I mean, I I think you can afford that that last place I showed you, but a building of this size in this city costs about about that. About 50,000 gold for this building and the, the, the one on problems. the waterfront he's saying is. Yeah. And with the lease buyout on top of that, he doesn't seem to think you have a serious chance at purchasing that one. So if um, I can... he also tells you that he has, I mean, he has a few like new buildings that may be more affordable to you. Or... Don't, don't worry about price. Price is no issue. I may have to go actually retrieve some funds from overseas but as we make our house here or make our home here. But my wife and I, I say pointing to Michelle, who <laughs> is totally right next to me at the moment, would very much like to live in Solstice as near to the ocean as possible. And the old district just looks quite nice. Um, so tell me, if I wanted to buy the house, if I could... If I got the other tenants to give up their lease, you know, by buying it out from them or whatever, but if I get them to give up their lease and I buy the property, how much How much are we talking about for the sale of that property? Say that again? Say it. If I, don't worry, lease aside, you know, I talk to them, I pay them some money to give them so that they give up their lease and move out. How much for the building? I... I told you fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Is that like your this? This is a real number. I don't want to work with hypotheticals. Fifty thousand. Show me the money. Show me the money. So uh, that just means I need to go convince the... your current tenants that I need the lease more than they do, and uh, pay them something to give it up. So who, who should, who am I dealing with here when I walk in? 
I'm thinking that perhaps you should have me mediate for you. I think perhaps you're just trying to get more money out of me for your own issues, and you'll strike some sort of backdoor deal with them where you get half the money that I give them, and I don't like that one bit. Let me talk to them on my own. I can't just go around giving my tenants information out to anyone that asks. All right. That's a fair point. I'm just going to go in and figure it out on my own then, and I approach the door and give it a big hearty There's, knock. Don't... Uh, He's sort of standing there, dumbfounded. Which so there's um, sev- you see two doors on this on this face, the mm-hmm. way the direction you're looking, um, that look to be separate. Like they each are, a, they've got a little stoop and their own separate entryways. So that which one do you knock on? Whichever east or west? one we were standing closer to. Uh... All right, you were probably nearer to the water, so the, yeah. the west one. Yeah. All right. You knock, and there is no immediate r- reply. Mace sort of walks up and puts his hand on your shoulder and he says, uh, <laughs> uh, he's not going to be home right now. I can, I can talk to him for you tonight. I kind of squint at him. It's people like you that cause a financial crisis of, you know, 34 year or 34. I don't know if I trust you. You came to me. Yeah, by recommendation of a good friend. So you, there must be something to you. All right, I'll let you talk to these people. You can find me at the Traveler's Oasis. The unnamed uh, barkeep was a, is a good friend. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you bend the truth to make a point. You know. All right. He shrugs. You walk away. You do see a woman in the upper in an upper window on the eastern unit as you're walking away. Um, Mace is still sort of standing next to his building, hand on hips. Okay. Does that intrigue you or do you still walk back to the Traveler's Oasis? Um, we'll go back to the Traveler's Oasis. I, right. He's probably gonna do some shifty, sketchy things, but if I look in on him and then if I catch him in the middle of something, then it's well, just gonna cause more problems. I think playing it even is the way to play it here. Yeah, you're not sure what to expect, if anything, from this guy. Yeah. All right. So. But you located his his business. Yeah. Right Michelle there. and I head off to. I'll leave the scoopy little token there for now to remind me which building it was. But. Ah, oh, you just moved him. There we go. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, that that's where his office is. Yeah. So you return to the Traveler's Oasis. Yes, and I start speaking with Michelle in quiet tones in the comments. I believe uh, you hadn't paid for Traveler's Oasis this visit. I'll, there's, I'll say there's a room. Okay, if there's a room, I will. You you just returned to town, if I if I recall, and hadn't yeah, yeah. made accommodation. So yeah, we're in the common room. Yeah. Then. I mean, okay. So you are you booking nights? stay here or we should i wasn't like you had done long term that's a good idea that's what i was suggesting to get out of the way okay well i talked to the innkeeper a week at a time or yeah i need a week here again how much for a week yeah what would we say for weekly rates i do like living well i like a nice room yeah let's say uh I can't remember what you were paying for this before, but he tells you it's one uh, nine silver a night, uh, food included. Okay. So nine times that, seven is sixty-two. Yeah. Um, so six seven. gold. Wait. Nine times. Oh yeah, sixty-three. Nine times seven. Yeah, sixty-three, sixty-two, same thing. Um, sixty-three. That is a. Okay, I give him 63 silver up front and head over to a, a... If I can find a secluded spot to speak to Michelle, like our own table, I will go talk to her there. Yeah, you guys can set up your own table in the in the tavern. It's the middle of the afternoon, so it's not particularly okay. populated. Like, like I said, this is like a... It's a large bar room kind of benches and a bar with a staircase leading up to two more floors of rooms yours of yours is on the third floor yeah now i believe i forgot to actually write down how much gold i had after i went through and calculated how much money i had 
It was something like 50 fi- something, right? 15. One it five. Was 15? Yeah. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Somewhere in that ballpark. I don't know the exact figure. I mean, a lot of it is in gems and other treasures. I don't think it's 15. I'm adding it now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, 700 plus 1200. You're right, it's around 15. Shit. Okay. I've massively misunderstood how much money I have available to me. Looks like I probably can't do an old quarter house. Or at least not one... At least not a old quarter mansion with, like... It looked like it was several yeah. houses or something like that. You know what? Maybe for what I'm doing, a small place would actually be better. I'm just a little bit bummed about this distance. Which one? The one that was kind of miscellaneously out here that was like 600, 700 feet away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've only talked to this one guy. Yeah. Um, but if old quarter prices are going to be that, I sit down speaking with Michelle. Maybe we should look kind of over in the library quarter. Um, maybe yeah maybe we should just buy a blank section of land and put up our own house there yeah there's not as much empty land as the map right looks like like i was too lazy to finish strong houses so i try to just give it a reasonable look okay. without actually drawing every building <clears throat> there are lots here and there or yeah but for the most part it's pretty packed efficiently used city hmm. okay so after finishing whatever food or drink we have on us, we head back over towards the library quarter near the ocean and go looking okay. for wooden buildings or open lots near the water waterfront. Okay, you want to move your tokens up there? I would love to. Okay, you're looking for... Empty lots or wood. There are not um, any wooden buildings up in this little nook. Um, but there are a few empty lots. Any of them near the water? Um, sure, yeah. You see a couple along that stretch there. I mean, it's like... Yeah, I mean, it's like almost a thousand feet, maybe like 750 feet mm -hmm. stretch of coastline there. Um, so in that space, there are maybe 10, 15 buildings and a couple of lots. Okay. Or gaps between those buildings. Um, I want to go... Uh, I'm going to find an empty lot and go to one of the buildings beside it. You know, one of the buildings that flanks the empty lot along the coast. And kind of take a look at it. What does it look like at a house or a, what sort of building is this? Um, most of these are uh, look like small houses or apartments or you know like duplex, triplex, quadruplex types of type of situations. Okay. So small, medium sized stone buildings. Um, they look like residences, not businesses. It's sort of quiet part of town up up in this little nook. Okay, I, I kind of look up and down the street looking for. Yeah, looking there's for not really that so much. Like of... They live here and maybe they're like out in the street taking care of their kids or they're like hanging laundry 
you know, I'm looking for the lady of the house. Uh, there are there are people out and about. I mean, in the, obviously, like down the alleys and behind the buildings, not really. But there's like so there's not really a street. It's just like there's a central courtyardy thing right there for mm-hmm. that that section of buildings where it seems like you know I mean, there's kids running around. There's a fountain. There's housewives and maids doing laundry and shit, hanging it outdoors. Okay. Um, and then there's it's slightly open down that direction towards the staircase. It's not it's not a street by any means. No, the, this the is ground perfect. is this is perfect. The ground is pretty much equivalent sand. I mean, it's easy to walk on. Uh, I want to go up the to city. the the women folding laundry, and kind of in that area. I, I take it there's probably a collection yeah, of them so at some point yeah. chatting, or maybe yeah. you know I, I want to find a group of these women and approach with Michelle with me. Yeah. So I'm trying to zoom in so I can Yeah, so you approach these these women. Mm-hmm. There are uh there are eight women of various ages and it looks like social classes too. It looks like there's maybe a couple of maids mm-hmm. and then a couple are, you know, more well-to-do women look like washing their family's laundry. There's a couple of old ladies hanging around gossiping. So eight, eight women in total of, of various ages and demographics. Okay. I, I would approach the older ladies. Okay. They're all sort of talking together in this. I'm tr- Gonna draw a little fountain thing. What? No, not that. What have I done? What have you done? Where I drew that awkward little thing is where I'm gonna put the fountain. Yeah. So, so in this I, little square, it's it's, I guess like a, a clearing of buildings, maybe a hundred feet in diameter, maybe a little more than that. And in the center is a fountain, a circular fountain. Okay. With women around it. So you have to approach the group. It's not like you can That's That's fine. I wanted to approach out. the group anyway. Yeah. Uh, I approach the group of older women and say, Excuse me, my dears. I am Qualnir. I come from lands far away. And I was wondering if you could tell me who owns that house. I say, pointing to the house next to the lot that I want. Uh, next to one of those open lots. What, can you ping where in general you're asking? So I drew where the center of that square is. Um, like, uh, if we if this turns out the- to be an area that's important, we will draw in more detail. But for now, this section here mm-hmm. is where I described there's maybe a couple dozen buildings. There's one row of buildings sort of here and up here between the ivory tower and this clearing that you're in. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, that's the clearing right there where you where you were talking to these women. Uh, can we hold on for a sec? We are dropping a lot of frames. Yeah, I, I was trying to, when I was trying to watch the, even like from the beginning, the Twitch inter, I was having trouble, but I thought it was my end. I, no, at the beginning, it was fine. We just recently started dropping frames. We're getting a really weird bit rate thing. Okay. Any guesses what's going on? No guesses as to what's going on. Um, we have plenty of idle processors. I don't, I literally have no idea why this is happening. It's not a bandwidth issue, is it? Processing thing. Um, I mean, you know what? We're just about at a break. We're, why don't we just go to break now and I'll restart the stream at break. can resolve these technical issues. Yeah. We'll be right back, guys. We'll be right back. 